Welcome everyone to Metro Scene. I'm Marvin Jackson. In February, the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater will be performing at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Joining me now is a native of Washington, D.C. She is also the director of the Ailey Extension. And she is Lisa Johnson Willingham. Welcome to the show. Hello, Lisa. thank you for having me. All right. Well, Lisa is a native of Washington, D.C. And so uh, we thought we'd have her on to talk about some of the things she's done in dance. Uh, she's with the Ailey organization. And Lisa, talk about how you got started in dance. And then maybe you can talk about your job now, your role with the Ailey organization. Yes, wonderful. So I started in dance, of course, in Washington, D.C., at a national youth sports program under the leadership of Lucille Hester, hosted at UDC. So my first dance experience, real dance experience um, in training was at a national youth sports program. From there, I went to Duke Ellington. I attended Duke Ellington School of the Arts woop, woop, for all the Duke Ellington graduates. Um, I am alumni of Duke Ellington, where I got my, you know, real like training in dance and was introduced to a lot of different techniques um, from ballet to Horton and Graham, Limon, um, West African jazz dance. So there were a variety of techniques that I was able to learn at the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Um, after that, I went to college and I joined several, several other dance companies before I joined the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, which was a dream come true. I'm especially um, a young girl growing up in Washington, D.C. and seeing the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater perform in Washington, D.C. every year. I can imagine myself being on that stage. So um, being a part of the Ailey organization was definitely one of my goals in, um, as a young girl growing up in DC and training in the arts of dance. From being a dancer on stage, I have shifted over to the administrative department at Alvin Ailey, um, director of the Ailey Extension. Was created in 2005 to exemplify Mr. Ailey's work that dance came from the people and should always be delivered back to the people. Um, we also make dance accessible to all people from around the world. Um, we have all levels. We have a total of 50 classes per week in 22, 23 different dance and fitness styles. We have special workshops, kids and teens programs, as well as private group visits and classes. And we are virtual as well as in studio. Talk about uh, how important that is to, to have uh, dance training like that for everyone, uh, not just people who want to be professionals, but for everyone, because, and especially being able to do it virtually. Yes, I think during the pandemic, it was really important for me and the Ailey organization to really reach out and support our community, although not only was, you know, everyone from around the world, you know, going through the same grief and trauma, but also my teachers, right, and artists. So um, I think it helped everyone to come together and be in a safe space where you could move, right, your body to care for your your mind, your body, and your spirit in a community from around the world. I think during the pandemic, the Ailey Extension expanded beyond New York City. 
pre-pandemic, you were able to participate in our classes only if you were in New York City. Um, and since the pandemic, we were able to expand our classes to, from around the world. So we have people from all over the world participating in our classes. We built probably over 3,000 new students during the pandemic. And I think dance saved lives. You know, you're able to speak a universal language through movement. You mentioned earlier that when you saw Alvin Ailey's dance theater coming to Washington, D.C., when you were a child, how important that was for you. It gave, it gave you an interest in wanting to be on that stage, too. So maybe you can explain that a little more because you guys are still coming to Washington <laughs> every year, it seems. Yes, definitely. I think the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater has had a huge impact in the DMV area right now. They have nine dancers out of the 32 that are from the DMV area. So definitely the impact that Alvin Ailey had on me as a child continues today. Um, under, you know, Alvin Ailey was a trailblazer who shared his life stories through his choreography that continues to, I wanna say, spread global awareness of black life in America. So I was able to see myself on that stage and connect to his life stories um, from the traditions of the black experience, from my experience, being a young black girl growing up in Washington, D.C. And Alvin Ailey created safe havens to nurture black artists and to express the universe, universality of the African-American experience. What did he mean to you all, uh, all the young women and men who performed for him? What did he mean to you all? Because obviously you met him and uh, some of the other people who were directors of that dance theater. Uh, what did they mean to you all, especially Alvin? Definitely, I think he exemplified Black excellence. You know, he, he, he told his life stories, his blood memories. He created programs from for black artists and i think he he really wanted he wanted he 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 began to have a multiracial company which welcomed everyone right because everyone have the same experience we all can experience sorrow we all can experience transitions renewal we all can experience hope and um, have hope and faith so alvin ailey i want to say demonstrated excellence, expecting more than others think is possible as he created this dance company in 1958. You know, risking more than others think is safe, definitely by telling his stories on the stage. Albany American Dance Theater will be at the Kennedy Center on February 12th. I mean, Feb February 7th through the 12th. It's our second stop in our national tour, which starts February 3rd through May 14th. Um, what to expect? Of course, you're gonna expect Mr. Ailey's work, his masterpiece, Revelations, also. That's that's my, my, my favorite, I love that's that. That's your favorite? <laughs> and yeah, yeah. we're going to perform like an Alvin Ailey and Duke Ellington night, which is appropriate for DC. You have Night Creatures. You have The River, um, which is works that Mr. Ailey and Duke Ellington worked on together. Uh, we also were going to feature new works. Um, we have company premieres Roy's Joy. We have a duet by Paul Taylor. We also have uh, a revival of Mr. Ailey's work, Survivors. It's a new production. And it was a tribute to the profound courage and terrible anguish of Nelson and Minnie Mandela. 
So the last time it was performed was 1986. Talk about how people can get in touch with you, with your extension program. I mean, that sounds like so much fun uh, for yes. everybody. <laughs> well, we're coming to D.C. as well. So we're coming. The Ailey Experience is a two-day workshop, and we are partnering with Dance Institute of Washington. And we will be in Washington, D.C. on March 11th and 12th of all ages. We have, sorry, starting at 9 to 99. So anyone can come and join us. And you that have includes one technique me. class. That includes you. I want to see you there on the dance floor. <laughs> it includes uh, a technique class. And then we have um, early classics. So you get to learn some of this choreography, this amazing and wonderful choreography that you will see on stage at the Kennedy Center. I actually took some dance when my daughter took dance, when she was in a dance company. And I was one of the the few parents <laughs> who volunteered to take the dance and it was tough. I mean, just the fe flexibility and just learning the moves. It was pretty tough, but it was fun. And my daughter and her friends loved it because I, right. was, the only, I was the only father. <laughs> so we're, so we're going to see you, you, your daughter <laughs> and her friends on March 11th and 12th. <laughs> You're all welcome. You're all welcome to come and dance with us. All right. Well, leave something with our viewers about dance and, and why it's important and uh, and how people can get their kids involved. Yes. Go to alvinailey.org definitely to look at the uh, to look for all Ailey programming in Washington, D.C. or the DMV area. Um, but I know you wanted me to leave with um, some inspiring words to parents and how to get kids into the arts. I definitely think, definitely having a balance of education, intellect and arts is really important to develop a well-balanced adult, right? For your, and, and I think training your kids in any kind of arts, from music to dance, visual arts, theater, you know, I think it, it's really important. It's really important for them to be able to, um, everybody has a gift and a talent from, you know, the most high. And I think it's really important for our parents to support, especially children who are, who want to participate and become an artist. I think we're a little afraid of, of course, the the um I want to say the competition of the arts, but what I can say and and the short lit like for everyone says like oh but dance your dance career is short, but I am a testimony that once you come off stage there are other positions in the arts that you can do right there's so many other positions in the arts. We need costume person. We need a prop person. We need lighting production, grant writers. You know, we have a development department, a school. You know, we need instructors. We need musicians. So, you know, it's never over. You're dan you know, once you're a dancer, you're a dancer for life. And I believe in my position, I'm able to use my creative side and make in running this program. And I go and teach. I'm able to teach. I'm able to be in the office. I'm able to be in the boardroom. And, and I'm able to direct. Too, right? Yes. You still dance. <laughs> Not as much, but I'm still dancing. I'm still moving. I'm still moving. I think at this time you go, I'm still moving. <laughs> yes. But I am teaching right. in March at the Ailey Experience. And I just think supporting our children in the arts is really important for them to be successful. I teach my kids to follow your passion. You know, I mean, I think I was lucky to be able to do what I love to do and travel the world and share my gifts and my passion with the world. 
And so it's, it's, it's my goal to give back. I've had so many mentors and teachers that have helped me throughout my career. And I want to do the same for um, young, young aspiring artists and dancers. So I would say support, support. You know, like you say, you were the only father in the room. And I think we need more parents in the room cheering on our children. All right. Well, we're cheering you on as well as the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. And thanks so much for joining us on Metro Scene. Thank you so much for having me. And see well, you we'll, soon, we'll DC. We'll stay in touch. Yes, we'll stay yes in touch, definitely. I know, sure. I'm going to see you March 11th and 12th. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Lisa Johnson Willingham of the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. And uh, she's doing some great things up there. <laughs>